Welcome to another edition of the D&D Morning Show. We're back at it. Got some new topics here. But I'm bing. Or a new topic. A new topic. We're not going to talk about topics today. <laughs> Let me give you the rundown. <laughs> today we'll start off with the fun fact about these mugs. <laughs> And then our whole topic today is going to be how to improve your bowel movements with CTP. That was hard for me to say with a straight face. It's going to be a fun show. It's going to be poopy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if Dorothy's ready for a show like this. I said there's a lot of people that deal with bowel movements, like bowel movement issues. Problems. I can't even bring that up without Dorothy cracking up. So we're going to be professional I'm sorry, about I'm this, gonna try to be but we're going to have some fun. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about CTP. Well, we're going to kind of intertwine the topics together. So the main topic is how to improve your bowel movements with CTP. So we'll be talking about CTP and, and some recipe ideas for CTP as well. More so baking recipes, so snacks. And then we'll end off with a quote about bowel movements. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Drew, let's start off with our fun fact. So these cups, this says, Happy New Year! In Sinhala. I bet you didn't know we knew how to speak Sinhala, did you? We don't. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a good friend that's, uh, his name's Dylan, and he owns a couple of restaurants, and we love his food. We met him a number of years ago, and he just recently, like, we go out and ha we hang out together, and we just recently were invited to a Sri Lanka New Year. Because Drew did not mention that Dylan is Sri Lankan, so. I did not. <laughs> Our friend Dylan is Sri Lankan. So we went to Sri Lankan New Year's party. She's just re-explaining the whole thing. Okay, go ahead. What I just explained. She's like, maybe I should explain it by better. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyways, it was, it was fantastic. It, the culture was amazing, and they had dan like traditional dancing. They had their traditional... Uh, dress gear on <laughs> clothing clothing <laughs> as we read out now there. I couldn't think of it of the word I'm like not costume that's not the right <laughs> word clothing <laughs> and they're dancing and singing so it was very cool it was it was like an honor to be invited because we were everyone basically everyone else was Sri Lankan and then mm -hmm. Sri Lankan and it was just us yes a couple other people that may not fit but uh, it was very cool they they had a, a mic and they thanked us for coming as special guests. It was, it was very cool. Mm -hmm. You know what is so interesting and so heartwarming is like Drew was saying, the culture, like they stick so close to their culture and traditions. It's just amazing. And I feel like our, in our culture, like those things get lost. Yeah. Like one of the rituals that they presented to us during, during the, the day was you honor your, your parents and your grandparents, so your elders. So they have this whole little kind of ritual like or mini ceremony. ceremony. The mini ceremony where you get this special um, leaf. Mm -hmm. And, and of course we had to ask, it was all in Sinhala, so, so we had to ask lots of questions so we knew what was happening. But there was this symbolism around the, the leaf and then they bow and pray and give respect to their, their elders. And it's just was so heartwarming, like these little itty bitty like kids, like two, three years old and doing this little respect ritual to, to and their adults elders. too. And adults, yeah. Adults were doing similar to their grandparents or right. maybe. Yeah. Uh, so it's is it incredible to be a part of that. So, part of it. anyways, we wanted to share that with you, and uh, they gave us these little mugs to take home. So they're very cool, and we, we feel like they're like a, a gift that is very meaningful. So yes. We really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's carry on. Moving on to our main topic: improving bowel movements. And I will be more serious now. <laughs> but uh, I, it's a, it's a. Drew needs earmuffs when he sits <laughs> beside me. He always. You know, when we first started hanging out, Drew's always like, they, I'm like, what is wrong with you? They would, oh, she, why do you keep doing she that? She thought I had like a nervous stick. Like, he keeps doing this. And then finally I just said, what's going on here? What are you doing? He's like, you are so loud. I'm like, well, you're just going to have to get used to that. <laughs> she so loud. If you think she's loud on camera, you should like be in front of her. It's just. Tell it's, them what the teachers say when you're like in the classroom or like, 
In the building. In the building. <laughs> well, because I've been doing, well, lots of subbing this year. Some of the teachers are like, oh, I, I knew you were here today because I heard you laughing. <laughs> I can hear you from all the way down the hall. So Dorothy laughs that loud this far from me. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> Sensitive ears. <laughs> Sensitive. I would like to talk or laugh or be that loud in front of Dorothy's ear and see if she likes it. Do it. I'm immune. <laughs> I grew up in a really loud family. We, Very loud. Like, we just are loud people. And uh, so I'm used to it. My family is not. <laughs> anyway, main topic. Let's get back to that. Yes. Many people suffer from um, improper bowel movements. And you know what? I think we've just come to accept that. I know I was one of those people. I had really horrible digestion. And in return really horrible bowel movements that weren't regular and so on and so on. So I think we just come to accept that that's the way it is. Every time I eat, I have to run to the bathroom. <laughs> and for me, when I'm, it was like clockwork. Like every time I ate, I would be like going to the bathroom. And if I was at somebody else's house or if I was at a restaurant, I would actually position myself close to the bathroom. <laughs> Or if there was a bat wasn't a bathroom available, I just wouldn't eat. I really? would just be hungry. I didn't know that. Because I did not want to go through that. <laughs> and it can be painful. It can be can be really so much discomfort that it's painful. Well, I think that well, usually we hear about the opposite. Like people aren't able to, like constipation is a big thing. Oh yeah. So you, too. people aren't able to go to the bathroom on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And then, so you were... That was the, the opposite, opposite issue. Every time I ate, it just, woo, <laughs> right through me. Yeah. And not pleasantly. <laughs> so I, I think that realizing what Dorothy was saying is that the first thing, like the first point and goal we want to express to you is that just because that feels normal to you or because it's been happening for so long, doesn't mean it's, it is normal. doesn't mean it has to be that way or stay that way. And it's really based around food. Like once we have better nutrition going into our gut, into our intestines, our body can process food at a higher rate, mm -hmm. and our body can utilize and turn into energy, which is why we are, well, why we were supposed to eat way mm -hmm. back when. Yeah. We eat for different purposes now, but we want to eat to nutritionize our body, and by putting better quality foods into your body, your body processes it much differently. Mm -hmm. And you know, we should be having regular bowel movements. You know, every every day. <laughs> you should you should have a bowel movement every day. Usually in the morning is your your body, your gut, your intestines are more relaxed, and you just slept like your body was at rest. That see many times when we we have a big giant meal in the evening, and then our body is trying to process that food, and that's why we don't get a restful night's sleep. That's why we don't have any energy mm -hmm. in the mornings because we our body takes all the energy from our entire body that's supposed to be healing our body and puts it to our gut and into our, tense, our intestines and it's trying to process and it's trying to digest. So when you wake up and you're not, you, know, you don't feel great, it's because your body just took all that energy and put it in one area. Mm -hmm. And whenever, you know, there's different topics that we talk about, for example, hydration and, and now, and now um, we're talking about the, the digestion and the bowel movements. But whatever it is, it always relates to the day before. Yeah. So, for example, if you had, if you wake up and you have no energy, that's because of something that happened the day before. And most likely, like Drew said, it, we had, um, our nutrition wasn't very great or we had a huge meal before we went to bed. Um, so whenever you're not feeling the best, on a particular day, always look to the to what happened the day before, not the day of. So That's just but works. So just a couple of things. So mm -hmm. pay attention to your bowel movements and how often they are. Mm -hmm. It's a good chance you need more fiber in your diet. And I know that people like say, oh, you need to eat like bran or have like a bran muffin to increase the fiber. But there's a lot of different things. We need a well balanced meal of fiber, and a lot of that comes from greens, for mm -hmm. example. But we need that. Greens to, are our friend. <laughs> We need that to help our body digest. And then I think working towards or trying to have that a bowel movement every day. So if you don't have a bowel movement, movement every day or if it's like once a week or once every three days, that means there's something not going on properly there. 
And I think that's important to understand and recognize is that we want to have everything flushed out. Those toxins, those substances our body isn't using, it needs to get rid of it somehow. And if that's not happening, we're storing that inside our body, which is causing it to release toxins in different areas. Mm -hmm. And on the flip side, um, if you are having the runs, let's just say it that way, every time that you're eating, then something isn't right either. Right? Yeah. So we yeah. need to look to food. Right. Uh, fermented food is a big one that we talk about all the time that can certainly help with digestion and help with proper movements and then pay attention to how much you eat out because mm -hmm. many times they put in all kind of like MSG they put in different types of oils rancid usually and when we have like if you eat and you have to run to the bathroom right away there's usually something in that food that isn't sh that shouldn't be in there and that's how I, that's how I know that MSG is in in food if I eat out and because Immediately bathroom. So that's I'm like, oh darn, there is MSG in that most yeah. likely <laughs> And then and the other thing is is paying paying attention to your bowel movements the next morning after you eat So if you go and eat out then the next morning things didn't really come out, right? <laughs> then you know like just pay attention because then you don't want to go back to that same place no. like, Don't keep going to the same place that causes your body to have Like reject the food that's coming out like it should be nice and smooth and that uh, shouldn't easy. be easy. Should be easy. Shouldn't it should be difficult. Shouldn't be runny, and it shouldn't be like straining. <laughs> mm -hmm. it should be come out nice and natural. Something that we talk about often is Complete Truth Protein. And so CTP, Complete Truth Protein, is a product. It's our product that we designed and one that we recommend often because of the m amount of nutrients in it. And so sometimes people say, and these are usually the people that don't have regular or proper bowel movements. Is they say, well, I had some of your protein. And I had to go to the bathroom right away, or I had to go to the bathroom the next morning. And we're like, well, you should be going to the you bathroom. You should be going to the morning. bathroom. And I think that's just a, the mindset of not having proper or or frequent bowel movement. So we need to have foods that have proper fiber in them, I suppose, to help our body digest and break down foods. And if you're having the opposite problem, like sometimes we get people that say, oh, I started having CTP and I don't have diarrhea anymore. Right. So it does work in both ways, right? Constipation and diarrhea. But see what fiber does is, is it slows the digestion process. So many times if you have um, diarrhea on a regular basis, there's nothing, there's not enough fiber to slow the digestion process. So it hits your belly and just kind of yeah. flushes out. So if you have proper fiber to slow digestion, you don't run into that problem as much. And then the opposite, it sounds counterintuitive, but when you have the proper amount of fiber, it helps break down your food and it helps you make or have proper bowel movements and improves your digestion. So we always recommend trying one tablespoon to begin with, to start with one tablespoon, slowly increase to three over a couple weeks, over a few weeks. But that's the reason why, because not only are a lot of times people are used to synthetic flavors like cookies and cream yeah. or strawberry Chocolate. <laughs> it's a whole food supplement so it tastes like food it doesn't taste like a conventional supplement so that's why we recommend starting off slow many people don't really notice the taste at all but then when it comes to bowel movements if you throw a whole whack of protein in there not really paying attention you might have a, a bowel movement that you're not used to mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you're scared or worried like oh my gosh something's wrong with the product <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with the product that's something that is a benefit of using a high, uh, a good quality product like CTP.